No, that is going. Parental discretion is advised. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time to Um, you know, it's almost like New York. You know, in, in New York when the towers got hit, people didn't run away in fear. The people run in fear, well people mourned, and then this country got together you know, and went out and kicked some ass. That's what happened. And now, you guys on the internet doing this goofy stuff, playing your little nerd games, you hey. piss some people off. What? Including you. Including me. Whoa. And you don't scare me. So what, are you, what, can you, what are you guys going to Sit do that? Sit back and see what happens over the next <laughs> several months. You know, and just like any other war, or any other fight, that's what this is gonna be. You know, but let me tell you the what, you want to get out there the and they always talk terrorists. about me and, 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 and bullying people and whatever. I'm not a bully, man. If you want to fight with me, Let's fight. We're going to fight then. And we're not going to see a change, even now with Fox, and we've talked about this before too. I mean, you go on the internet, you tell people <laughs> when they have something bad to say with you. For Dana White, this is what we're always going to get. No one, no Chuck, you know, Fox won't change you, no one will change you. No. Uh What's the change? Well, I understand, I mean, but I these, mean, these, there are some people these who These guys feel are hacking my website. Mm -hmm. What do you want me to do? Go, stop hacking my website. No, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> go ahead. You want to keep playing these games? Play them. <laughs> You're going to lose. You're going to lose. You can't stop the internet. You cowards all Bill hide on the internet. You don't scare us. We're going to find you. <laughs> Believe me. This is bigger than me. This he is bigger than me. This, guy. this is bigger than the UFC. You go out there and start acting like a terrorist, you're going to get Osama bin Laden. Oh, it's the Wrestling oh. Mayhem Show, and we all going to get Osama bin Laden Dana by Dana, Dana fucking, fucking White. It's and Wrestling show Mayhem totally. Show, the our little nerd did. games. Uh, wrestling Mayhem Show 306, Chachi is on assignment. I am Sorgatron, we back again. Him. And as always, fired. we got the Wrestle so Fan in San Antonio, Texas. I hear there's yeah, a Papuga in your area. Me and my terroristic acts of being on the internet. Yes, indeed. Dana White, you high person. I, I don't know. Hello, everyone. <laughs> and DJ Lunchbox. Hey, what's up? It is the Oracle of the Royal Rumble, DJ Lunchbox. <laughs> Here for your viewing pleasure. Monster <laughs> Haiku. Network. And the Riz. Uh, it appears that uh, someone wasn't happy with my prediction of Christian winning, and they cut the brakes off my car, and uh, I was in a little accident. So whoever did that, go fuck yourself. Dana White. I'm looking at you. <laughs> Dana White knows. Dana, Dana White after did you. it. Everything he thought I was the Dana terrorist. White. Dana they, White is going to open some and lot on us. Me. Dana, um, it's easy when you're pooping. But hey, it's Wrestling Mayhem Show, <laughs> WrestlingMayhemShow.com, uh, where you find out more about us. And uh, we can send emails to Good Times, Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. 412-206-WMS0 is the number. That's 9670. Please keep it short. It's succinct. We'll play it on the show. At, May at Mayhem Show is the Twitter. Follow us on our Facebook and our open group over there. Or uh, follow us on Google+, Plus, where we do a lot of talking. And hangouts and stuff like that. Uh, and subscribe to us on your iTunes, on your Blip TVs, on your YouTubes, and all that kind of stuff. Please leave comments and tell your friends. No longer on Mevio. I don't know why. Uh, and hey, go check out the app. Apparently, they think I'm a terrorist on Mevio. Uh, check out the app. It's $1.99 in your iOS and Android stores where you can uh, get all of the episodes. And you can like. actually, if you look very carefully. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's the screen. Never mind. What? I was going to say, you can actually see right there, that little that little part right here. Yeah. It's pointed to the Xbox. What? For YouTube. What? We're on Xbox. What? Suck it. What? What? What are you talking we're about? We're on YouTube. We're on, we're on YouTube? Yes. What? We are? What? What are you talking about? I mean, about? We're, 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 when you, when this loads, we're on YouTube, and then YouTube is on Xbox. And so you were just seeing Riz, my... Riz just created an altered dimension, did ladies you, and gentlemen. Did you? Yeah, if you're not on the Xbox, it, uh, on your YouTube We're channel. not there yet. No, we're not, no but, but no, we, we are, are there. We but are there, this but is this not there yet. Not but if you're watching yet. us there yet, then, we, then you're, you're, we're there. And hi. How you doing? Yeah. What's hi. happening? 
Uh, fan Not mail, just please. Blow your mind. Fa- fan mail? Yeah. Fan, fan mail. Let's talk about some fan mail. Fan mail? Uh, but you know what, Kasorg? You might as well get it out of the way so we can go on with, you know, the part that's the entertaining part of the Mayhem show. Oh. Oh, Chachi, no. Chachi, who is in the studio, sends in an email. Let me get through no, this Chachi, quick. Chachi is going to shit an entire person uh, if he finds out that WrestleFan read his email. Yeah, don't worry, well, he doesn't, don't worry, he doesn't listen to the show. It's, uh, it's probably the most entertaining thing that Chachi will ever say because it's coming from my mouth. Dear Mayhemers, <laughs> proceed to fight over who gets to be the voice of Chach. It's me. Suck it. So by now, you've noticed that I am not there. Well, as second in command, I am off finding new and better talent to replace you. No, not you, Bo Diggity, LB, Sorg, Riz, Bobby, or Wheels. <laughs> Way to nail it down. About you. You'll notice that the, this message was sent before Raw. Why, you may ask? Well, because I don't give a fuck what happens on Raw. Let's talk about the Rumble. So my predictions what my prediction was wrong, as it usually is, but Sheamus won, and that's awesome. All the matches, even the women's match, wasn't bad. The CM Punk match was my second favorite of the night, first being the Rumble. Can't wait to see what happens tonight on Raw. Mm-hmm. So here are my highlights from the Rumble and why it it's my favorite. I love how they tease I love how he ignores the like he made positively sure he didn't do a list. <laughs> just by omitting the numbers. Okay, I love how they tease... I'm just going to give them the numbers. One, I love how they tease Miz and Cody going the distance. Two, Ricardo hey, coming out in a busted-ass ride. Three, the special guests were amazing. Ho! The entire announced team... Four, the entire <laughs> announced team... Oh. Oh. Four, the entire announced team was in it. However, they should have included the Spanish announce table as well. And five... Jericho fucking wrestled and wrestled well. Come on. Oh, yeah. I'll keep it short, but those are my thoughts. Keep it slappy, Chachi. Wow, I'm glad that's over. Now can we get into the entertaining parts of the show? Not the any minute. Please, not the any minute. (laughs) Anything but the any any minute. Does anyone else have an email? I have an email. Yeah. Yeah. Glorious email from... Sonic Screwdrop himself. The title is The Lost City of Atlantis. Salutations, Mayhem Facilitators. Another week... Oh, he called us taters. <laughs> Tater. Another week of episodic wrestling has come and gone, and we are all the wiser for it. I'm still impressed with the decent storytelling aspect of WWE. Not so much with TNA. But I will admit there is a marked improvement and an attempt at cohesion. I'll lead with the customary adhering to Mayhem's gentleman's agreement in regards to TNA. I'd like to give props here to uh, Sonic Screwjob for being the only one who's still doing that. The good. Rude has really come into his own with his championship run, almost like watching Ric Flair in the 80s. Also, who would have guessed that Bubba Ray could pull off a singles character with this much appeal? The bad. Still no Ken Anderson. TNA runs the knockouts like the heavyweights, the heavyweights like midget wrestling, and the X Division like the divas how to improve cut to the chase with garrett bischoff trainer my money is on hogan not every match has to be an intricate hate field grudge most viewers aren't following that close your writing isn't strong enough for that slow build so make it simple and fun take eric young and clone him it's rare that i have a chance to catch pay-per-views but i lucked into the rumble the matches were kind of lackluster to say the least mark henry big show daniel bryan equated to two bears and a squirrel having a climbing contest. Cena and Kane with special guest Zack Ryder did nothing to further their story, although Cena's pop at Raw was stupendous, the real reason for this angle. A decent no-build Divas match, sort of. McIntyre being fed to the Funkasaurus. I made the comment that the actual Rumble match was going to need ninjas, dragons, and the Lost City of Atlantis to salvage this pay-per-view. All I can say is, WWE delivered. The Rumble match was the perfect combination of action, surprise entries, and spot monkey goodness. Ricardo's surprise entrance was the greatest, but I think that Pacer was a rental. I found out during Raw that Kofi is getting a spot in the Elimination Chamber and pulled a victory against The Miz. Having found this out, I guess it's time to wish Evan Bourne good luck in future endeavors. Have a good show, guys. Sonic Screwjob. P.S. 
I just want to say my heart goes out to Steve Regal's conjoined twin daughters who are locked in the attic and all the vegans who have Daniel Bryan as a role model. Hmm. No. And he included a picture. The picture yeah, of Samoa. Uh, a very Joe ripped Samoa Joe. Muscle. That is not Giant. Samoa and, Joe. And uh, there, there's a line pointing to the price tag. It says, must be a collectible. That's $2. <laughs> wow. It's that like is, a dollar store one. <laughs> I, I will give them a dollar wow. for that. <laughs> Wow. Sorg. Uh, yes. Yes. Sorg or, or Riz. Sorg or Riz. Yes. Yes. There's a Bobby mail. There's a Bobby mail. There's Bobby another email. email. There's a Bobby mail. There's, There's a Bobby, Bobby mail. mail. Uh, greetings, fellas. Had an awesome time on Sunday for our Royal Rumble pool and Royal Rumble, or I'm sorry, Buffalo Wild Wings, which screw them now, by the way. Yes, because mm-hmm. as LB tweeted and a couple other people tweeted, uh, they will no longer be holding the pay per views at Buffalo Wild Wings. Because uh... WWE decides that uh, these restaurants are going to pay $700 instead of 200 so they're not going to do that. Uh, had an awesome. Uh, yeah, read that part. I thought instead of having the usual AON report, I would just touch on AON for one tidbit and focus my thoughts on the Rumble. Ricardo Rodriguez. <laughs> one. Ricardo Ricardo Rodriguez stole the number with his stole the Rumble. Blah blah blah. With his beat ass ride and Alberto Del Rio like a flare of an entrance. Wow. Uh, although I still need to do my entrance with the 2005 Chevy Malibu Classic. Number B. Chris Jericho was amazing in the Rumble. However, they should have went with a different angle if he would have won. Having Jericho be the number 30 entrance, but the last two superstars in the ring before number 30 came out would have eliminated each other so that Jericho would, <laughs> wouldn't have to do anything to win the Rumble. <laughs> Roman numeral three. I don't know why everyone is so upset with Sheamus won the Rumble. I think it was good to have someone unexpected win. Plus, it will lead to a good feud, hopefully, with Daniel Bryan, which was bumped from Mania card last year. P.S. Man Child has turned heel in our AON. Boo. It's a sad day for Johnstown. It's a sad day for the Mayhem Show. Undertaker. It's a sad day for America. P.S.S. Undertaker saw the sign and it opened up Triple H's eyes, or did it? Dun dun dun. And finally, <laughs> PP. No, P.S.S.S. Enjoy the awesome video. I'm not sure what this is. We'll load it up. Jurassic here. Park theme song. Is it? Oh wait. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. It's still going. That, that, it's still going was, in the yeah, background. That was very anticlimactic. Wow. That's not what I expected at all. Uh, what else we got here? Also, uh, Sonic Screwjob had a quick one uh, from two days ago. Uh, watching SmackDown. WMS, just a quickie. My son and I were watching SmackDown. Drew McIntyre and Sheamus was in the ring, and my son looked at me and asked, wonder what Sheamus would look like under a black light. I knew I had to let you guys know, Sonic. <laughs> Looked like an alien. Wow. <laughs> like a glowing alien. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. And I believe that concludes the fan mail for this week. I Re- believe so. Wrestle fan? Wrestle fan. Yes. It's time now for the greatest segment uh, on the Wrestling uh, Mayhem uh, show uh, that nobody else can say otherwise anymore. This week in indie wrestling. You got a minute. Go. No, I don't. Uh, you you don't run the show. Sixty uh, seconds. Ready, set. This week in Indy. Go. Do it. So first off, I want to like give a big old shout out, big 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 old shout out to River City Wrestling. Their event that is coming up this Saturday is uh, going to be a stacked card. I'm going to be there. The event is called It's Time For, which will be at the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in San Antonio, Texas, one six three zero Goliad Road. Um, so far, the main uh, well, basically, from to set this whole thing up from the last show, uh, there was the big I Quit match between Ray Rowe, um, friend of the show uh, Ray Rowe, and the Super Mex Hernandez from TNA Wrestling. Uh, absolutely insane matchup, which led uh, to the end, which saw Hernandez choking out Ray Rowe with a belt. Uh, the match had to be stopped because uh, of Ray Rowe passing out from the loss of air. 
Uh, it was then when uh, c- uh, Commissioner for uh, River City Wrestling, Chris Fuentes, came out and announced that the so- wrestler of the year, which can be very much debated, um, AJ Summers of the Gulf Coast Connection, deserved the title shot and then came in, pinned an incapacitated Ray Rowe, and was crowned the new champion. Now, at the coming event this Saturday, uh, ironically enough, Chris Fuentes has given AJ Summers the night off, which uh, is very, very ironic. However... The main event will be a four-way match to determine the number one contender for AJ Summers. Ironic? I'm sorry. Is that ironic? It's ironic. So I, I don't I don't know. I'm sorry. Maybe okay. I don't understand. Yeah, I, I, don't I don't know words yet. Um, four-way match for the number one contendership for the RCW title, which will feature friend of the show Ray Rowe, um, getting his shot to uh, get his championship back, taking on uh, former tag team champion Jingo Wallaby. From uh, good old Australia. Almost uh, thought you said Gender Mahal. I said, no, I said Jingo Wallaby. <laughs> you heard me. Uh, two different people. Um, uh, the large adore, Michael Faith, who made his debut at the last uh, last event. Yeah, That's get it, awesome, large adore. Awesome. Get it, it's like Lucha Door, but he's uh, he's big. Okay. Um, and also, AJ Styles, or not AJ Styles. My God, I'm thrown off. AJ Summers is tag team partner in the Gulf Coast Connection, Ben Galvan. They will all be in a four-way match for the number one contendership. Also, uh, Alyssa Flash, who just came off of winning the Shimmer Championship, came off from a tour of India, will return to River City Wrestling to uh, make history and become the first ever uh, Triple Crown RCW champion when she faces the Minister Rick David for the International Championship. Uh, if this is the case, she will be the only female to hold uh, – only only person and the only female to hold every belt in River City Wrestling. So that's definitely going to be a feat to see. And then also a three-way tag team matchup where we will see – for the tag team titles where we will see Morte and Nemesis make their first title defense against Quentin Allen and Steve McEnroe and also the team of Honky Kong and his uh, tag Honky team Kong. Honky Honky Kong Kong and his tag team partner Baby Kong which is a miniature version of Honky Kong so we'll definitely definitely see how that goes like I said it's February 4th uh, San Antonio Texas at the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church I will be there if you see me and you're at that event come up and say hi chop him chop him no, thank you. Uh, no. So yeah, go go check them out and go support them and uh, you know give them tell them the wrestling mayhem show sent you. And also, um, that's really all the indie news I have this week. However, um, for those that follow us on the mayhem show uh, Facebook page, uh, a little a little treat uh, that was found by me came up recently um, for a, a group that I think I think we want to make new friends of the show, right, Sorg? Right, Sorg? Yeah, yeah. We, well, you know, I was still on the clock, Wrestle fan. Uh, yeah, I don't care. I, I, I'm thinking, there, there. Yeah, this was a pretty good Facebook that you got. You put up. Yeah, there. it. Um, uh, what was uh, the name of the the, the page? Good, the good, the you, good folks at Extreme Wrestling Federation, and it's Extreme spelled E X T R E A M. Uh, yeah, I, they, I, it went. It was going around on the web. There was this. Uh, Flyer that came up, very may I say, very, very, very well done flyer, uh, <laughs> which looks like it may be on college ruled paper, but that's okay. Um, for Extreme <laughs> Wrestling Federation, um, owner Max Slavin and Whitney, don't forget Whitney. <laughs> um, Whitney is uh, such a slut. I'm just gonna read verbatim. It's a <laughs> new wrestling come in to Newport, and the matches, and it's spelled like like a match, like a fire. Like the like match will be, and it's there's something crossed out, some kind of street fights crossed out in blue in blue marker, frist blood, a hardcore fall count Dude, I anywhere love match, blood fall count anywhere match, which I I'm I'm so glad they clarified instead of a falls count anywhere. This was way too confusing. Um, EWF championship match, EWF world heavyweight championship match. EWF World Tag Team Championship and the EWF Hardcore Championship and it says if you need any information like the number 4 F O U R formation about EWF and if you want if you want to rest out for like the number 4 EWF call Max Slavin if and and there is a number listed uh, if no one ans- and swears Leave a message, leave name and number 
of call Chris Campbell, a.k.a. Max Slavin, please, with three exclamation points. Is so it I don't really, know. Is it I, Max I, Slavin? So Max Slavin. Or is it Chris I don't know Campbell? who this Chris he Campbell is, is who's a.k.a. Max, Max Slavin, Slavin, but... I I I want to make them the new friends of the Wrestling Mayhem show. We're always trying to reach out to independent wrestling companies. So I think if they have a DVD out, Chachi will watch it and he will fall in love with indie wrestling. I I have a feeling. I I have a I have a strong feeling. Yes. You know, Sorg's Sorg's doing <laughs> something. What? Nothing's happening. Nothing's, Nothing's going on here. Nothing's happening at all. Uh, so I let's see if we we'll see if we can get them to you know kind of get on the mayhem show bandwagon, get them some support. Um, okay, we're gonna put that, you off the clock for this, Russell fan. Please leave your message for eight six five three zero seven four zero seven four. Hi, uh, my name's Will. I'm calling for Max Slavin and Whitney. Um, I'm uh, calling in regards to a flyer I saw uh, for the EWF, the Extreme uh, Wrestling Federation. Um, I'm uh, I'm super excited. I, I saw this. Uh, I really want to join your uh, join your group here. Um, I have a lot of wrestling experience, a lot of, a lot of title reigns. Um, I've done uh, I've done some very uh, very interesting matches. Uh, in my life, I, uh, I had a long run with a hardcore title. Uh, that was a lot of fun. And I see, uh, on your, uh, on your match or on your flyer here, you do hardcore matches, which is good. Falls count, fall, I'm sorry, fall count anywhere. Um, I have a number of falls count anywhere matches, never done a fall count anywhere match, uh, but I am willing to experiment. Um, what, what really drew me in was the, uh, the frist blood. I have had, uh, at least 12 frist blood matches uh in my life um i'm not afraid i'm not afraid uh to bleed you know uh, i'll put i'll put somebody else over i'm happy to do the frist blood match um and uh i gotta say max slavin um that's just a, a, a fantastic name uh my name my wrestling name is the last scion of hardcore um, I need uh, I need top billing at whatever event we wrestle in. I'm happy to carry your title and your banner. Um, uh, now uh, we should. I do kind of want to get into my uh, my contract requirements here. Um, uh, per show, it's it's a uh, um, uh, you know what? Since we're starting out, I'm going to give you a deal uh, on my services here: ten thousand dollars per match. Um, I am willing to do multiple matches. Actually, I prefer to do multiple matches per night. I'll go all the way up three, four matches. Granted, that is forty thousand dollars, but you get what you pay for. Um, uh, fruit baskets are a must. That's another thing. That's on a per match basis. If I do four matches, that's four fruit baskets, my friend. Fresh fruit, all right. No oranges and shit, all right. I am serious. I will walk out on an event. Um, I of course need a doctor on site. Only female Filipino doctors. And uh, with a just a, a, a huge supply of rubber gloves, uh, that is really important. Um, and I, I'm not going to get into what that's for. Okay, uh, I will of course need my own dressing room uh, for the fruit baskets and the Filipino whores. So um, if you could please uh, uh, send me an email um, as soon as you can, uh, because I really want to get started. Uh, it's uh, I'm really excited to work for you. Uh, send me an email at Good Times at Wrestling Mayhem Show dot com and uh yeah we'll get this going man if you can pay the price uh you won't be disappointed thanks aside from that our friends of course we had michael facade on last week uh and our friends over at iwc had a great show called pure talent the first for circuitron media full disclosure was doing the dvd production available now yay go buy that uh but it's pretty big nice news. friend of the show jimmy demarco turning on iwc turning heel over there uh, here's a little clip of that there. Um, so go check that out, and maybe we'll hear from him in the near future here. Uh, actually to the point where he starts attacking Chuck Roberts. Hold on. And, and I believe giving him a, his, uh, dreaded scrotum, cl- scrotum clutch, as yeah, I like to call yep. it. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um... Speaking of scrotum clutch, uh, can we talk about, uh, the Royal Rumble and some of the returns there? Uh, we will, after the break here, LB. 
Great. I know there's one you really want to get to. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's why I said screw it. And watch. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's go to the break. Check out what's going on. Mayhem Gold. A little, little more from IWC Pure Talent uh, for the for that DVD release, and we'll be right back with the remember one. Um, I could share that with you. I don't know what it was, but it was in between some also blue jalapeno cornbread. Uh, figure that one out. Kind of a good point. I'd love oh, yeah, for yeah. to tell well, me about that. That's why. That's yeah. why I was telling like like Bobby. You know, is my consideration when we talk about an indie group is like, are these guys? Do they have DVDs? Are they on YouTube? Because if they don't have, let's, let's do a show. Let's do a show. There's no reason not to. I'm not waiting on nobody else. Anybody waiting? We just don't do this. I'm going to get the better early today. Another 2012 calendar year. I don't know all about IWC wrestling and the pure talent they're in. It's not the traditional human game of chess, but certainly an updated version that these men have been able to keep up move for move with one another with a very rapid pace. The hit put out of the Founding Fathers, what a surprise, the guy in a mask. You, you know this is going to be animalistic. What? What's up, hot dog? This is the uh, one and only Wrestling Mayhem Show. Welcome back. I want to congratulate you on finding the finest podcast anywhere on the internet. Uh, I am, of course, DJ Lunchbox, and uh, I would like to take you on a journey of the mind uh, in a little segment that we like to call, Remember When? Some things happen by chance. Some things are very intentional. Some things take skill. Some things take, you know, lifetimes of dedication. But sometimes it's just fate. I would like to take you back to the date of just this past Sunday. The place, Buffalo Wild Wings. The event, the Royal Rumble. A random number generator some french fries, and fate. That was the tools that I needed. That's all I needed to predict the winner of the Royal Rumble, the man himself, self, the pale horse, Seamus. Everybody got their numbers completely random. Who got it? One thumb, two thumb, right here, this guy. Seamus, the winner of the Royal Rumble. But hmm, I would like to point out one other thing that happened. Uh, Sword can back me up on this. Bobby can back me up on this. I think Sarah can as well. Lady Lunchbox, my lovely uh, girlfriend. Um, I don't know uh, if, uh, if you remember, but as I sat down, I said, on the drive down, I was thinking about it, and we overlooked Seamus. And I said, Seamus may have a strong showing, if not winning. So not only did the random number generator predict victory, for Papa Lunchbox. Papa Lunchbox predicted victory for himself. Lots of money went to Chachi Plays, and that is a fantastic, wonderful thing. But also, oh, Papa Lunchbox got bragging rights for the Royal fucking Rumble. And brag he shall! Because Seamus. It's, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. Because not, not only did the random numbers give me access to to the winner of the Royal Rumble, but right up here, this guy. Papa Lunchbox's brain. I thought it in my brain, and then it happened. I wanted it to happen, and then did. Seamus, the man himself, coming down. See that pose right there that's that's uh, on the on the show? That, you know, arms, it was, that was it. That was the, it was the battle of that pose, because it came down to him and Jericho. And if you want to know, like, how weird it is, how, how excited he got, um, Lunchbox stood on the table and did exactly that. Pants. That's right. Yeah, I did. I did that pose. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> punching both Sorg and Lady Lunchbox right in their heads uh, when I did it. So I want to apologize uh, to and you, Sorg Lady Lunchbox, both- who is here, and I want to apologize to you, Sorg, for the punches in the head. I was very excited. Well, he got it bad both ways because he not only got punched in the head. But he also had Chris Jericho, who was eliminated Ooh, last. Yeah. It did come yeah. down to me and Sorg, which was 
also also faded. Um, and I, I do owe both of them another apology because um, with the return of karma, they also got hit in the head with my giant boner. So, um, but uh, you know what? There's I, in all honesty, there's been a lot of people saying they didn't like the rumble. Hey, they didn't like the rumble. They didn't like the matches. The people who won, fuck that, and fuck you. If you didn't enjoy the rumble, you weren't paying attention. <laughs> And you're a communist. So, and you're a communist. So go suck You're going to get Bin Laden. So, you're going to get Bin Laden, motherfuckers. Yeah, Dana White's going to punch the but internet. So I, that, I want to take you back just slightly in this week's... Remember when? There you go. Well, hey, I remember something, too. Oh, do from, you? From a, from a Mayhem Show's past, Okay, if you will. May, may, mayhem Show's? Mayhem shows past. Shut up, fetus. Mm-hmm. But uh. I remember when <laughs> DJ Lunchbox despised Seamus. Yeah, called him I did. Seamus, oh, shitty pants or shitty finger, something like that. There was there was a lot of that. Uh, I remember very often. I would say I actively dislike that pale fellow. So <laughs> now, 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 look where you're at. Now, no longer. Seamus has won me over. I am very happy to be on the on the on the um, the Seamus Irish pale train metaphor something. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Well on that note, let's go take some other opinions. I'm sure he's got some opinions of the Royal Rumble as well. Let's go to Mad Mike's Minute of Mayhem. Greetings, Mayhemers. It's Mad Mike here once again with your Minute of Mayhem. Now, last night we had the Royal Rumble, and um, I don't know if I was really that big of a fan of it. Uh, The Rumble, to me, isn't supposed to be a comedy match, and last night, well, it kind of was. I mean, granted, the comedy bits were funny, but they really should have saved that for like a 40-man rumble, where you can actually break it up a little bit more over time, like last year, which they did with John Cena and Hornswoggle. Um, But Sheamus winning is interesting. Um, Good choice for someone who hasn't won the rumble before, I was a fan of that. And it led to some interesting shit on Raw, so I mean, that's always a good thing. Uh, The match between Daniel Bryan and CM Punk on Raw last night was phenomenal. As, as we all knew it would be, and Jericho finally did something that actually got legitimate heel heat for the most part, which was good. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll lead to Jericho Punk at Mania, which is going to be a great match. Um, but the one thing, it's take your Triple H all over again. Or is it? See, I don't think we're necessarily getting take your Triple H. I think it'd be a little bit more of a twist if, like, Taker comes out every week when Triple H's out and does the whole stare, slit throat, nod to WrestleMania sign thing. But Triple H, each week, doesn't respond verbally until the Raw after Elimination Chamber. The Raw after Elimination Chamber, Triple H pats him on the back, grabs him like and says, Listen, dead man, I know you want a third go. I would love to give it to you, but right now, I have to focus on the business at hand, and I need to be the chief operating officer of WWE. I'm sorry. I'm not going to fight you at WrestleMania. Then he leaves the ring, and the Undertaker looks all sad and depressed, and then all of a sudden, Kane, fresh off his feud from John Cena, comes out and beats the holy high hell out of the Undertaker. And, um... Then we get Taker Kane 3 at WrestleMania instead of Taker Triple H 3. And I think that would be a, maybe not a better match per se, but it'd be more fun. The storyline would be a little better. And also, Taker needs to go to um, a new wig shop because holy fuck did that look bad. And I wasn't even watching it in HD. Um, yeah, well, I think that's pretty much it for me this week. Um, take care. Spike your hair. Woo, woo, woo. You know it, bitches. That's a very creative idea, which means they won't, they won't do it. <laughs> they're, no, no. They're like, oh, uh, uh, do, you yeah. me, do you want me to Should we get into that? Sure, go for it. Should we? Well, everyone knows what happened last night on Raw. The ending of Raw, 
They did the whole uh, Triple H embarrassing John Lauren eyes, making him look like a big old fool uh, in the center of the ring, uh, making him dance like a monkey. And then um, the minute he's about to fire John Lauren uh, The Undertaker comes back. And yeah, we haven't seen him for a year. Yeah, it's been, yeah, a year. Um, and he's back. Um, and, yeah, and I, maybe, yeah, I agree with Men Mike in the sense that um, Undertaker and Kane would have a better storyline. Uh, definitely. But um, here's an idea. How about let's not bring the Undertaker back? How about let's, I don't, I don't really want to watch an old dude in the ring facing another old dude in the ring anymore. Especially one, especially one that looks so frail as the Undertaker looks, because uh, fuck that, uh, I don't want to see that. Well, he's a dead man. Yeah, look, man, yeah, he, he, he's looking. The Undertaker's very dead. coming back, one way or the other. Yeah. He's not going yeah. away without a storyline send off. And frankly, I'm happy. I'm happy for that fact because yes, I agree. The Undertaker should hang it up. It's, it's done, man. You've done very, very well. Okay, just go out with some dignity, with some pride. Personally, I'd like to see him go out with the streak intact. It's a, he doesn't have to lose and then go away forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, no, and no, no, the no, reason, and he, well, the, you know, the reason I want the Undertaker to to really to finish up is because oh, his book is going to be so good. Hmm. Well, I'd punk, and you're right. He should go out with you know not having the street cross. I think he should have went out against Shawn Michaels. But no, they're like, okay, we'll try with Triple H. And I'll be honest, and I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this. They got lucky. They got really lucky with Undertaker Triple H last year. But it, here's the reason why they got quote lucky though. It's because they we didn't have high hopes for that match. We 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 didn't have any hopes for that match, and it proved to be one of the better matches both guys have ever had. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah, that's that's why it's yeah. But now, now, we, now we have it. hopes. Now we have hopes. Yeah, now we have hopes, and that's not a good thing. <laughs> Gonna I don't know. Bro. I just always feel like if, besides the, his matches with Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania. I feel like every match that Undertaker's had now, the only people would think, oh, this was such a great match. This match stole the show. I look back. Did it really? Like, did it really? Like, in His my opinion... The ones with CM Punk were good. My... I'm, I mean, at WrestleMania. Was I mean, at, the ones with yeah. Orton were good? Well, yeah, the no. one with Orton. I'm, I'm saying, like, later now. Like, we were getting later and later in Undertaker's career. I just feel like he's relying too much. The, like, the streak's the only thing that's keeping me interested in those matches. That's why everyone freaks out at the near falls, because they're like, oh, is he going to... Is the streak going to be over, or is it not? Yeah, like, that's, that's the only the point. point. It's, it's more important stuff that's been built over how many years, you know? No, and, and, and that's the reason. It's, it's, it's genuinely unpredictable. And he's still a spectacle that the majority of people still want to see him, regardless. The streak is the biggest angle in wrestling history right now. All yep. And all it's I, never I, going to go away until he loses or retires with that streak intact. No, I agree. My thing is, I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to see a bald Undertaker with no muscles and no... And for those that don't know, yes, he's bald. Have you seen pictures of the Undertaker lately? He does not look good. I don't want to see him wrestle. I don't. I just... I don't want to deal with it this year. I don't know. I just... I feel put off by the whole thing. I... And the whole thing with the fucking sign again this year, and oh, cry. we're gonna look at the sign, and then we're not gonna look. Gonna yeah, that, look at that. That uh, well, there's not not that. That's an advertisement. Not not uh, all that. That's yeah. But no, I'm I'm just, I just don't want to see the Undertaker Triple H. I don't, and that's my and that's my opinion. I don't want to see them. I don't want to see two old dudes wrestle and try to get lucky again. I'm sorry, I don't want to see that. And I'm going to sound like a mark for saying this. I'm going to sound like, a, you know, I'm the guy that doesn't, you know, is the internet guy that hates WWE. I don't. I like WWE. But when people like Dolph Ziggler and Cody Rhodes bust their ass this entire year, with I'm assuming, with their goal to be to, you know, get in a pretty good profile match at WrestleMania. And then they're like, oh, we're just going to bring these guys in. And take like the sem- and maybe the placement of match isn't going to be semi main event, but it's the semi main event match. Undertaker Triple H. 
You know what I, I mean? I think you're thinking about this the wrong way. I yeah. mean, I mean, guys like that. Uh, unfortunately, as much as you want those guys to be the main event and be the stars of the show, and I don't mean- and they can't. No, no. Let me finish. You, you, they can be the stars of the show and steal the show, but they're not the ones that are going to get the general populace to buy that pay per view. Uh, the general populace are going to buy the pay per view because they see Rock versus Cena, because they see Undertaker's back, because they see Snookies on the pay per view or whatnot. That's what gets a million bucks. Well, no, other than I that, you get, that. Other than that you get your two hundred thousand buys like everything else has been doing all the rest of the year but what those do is they give an opportunity people people just like back in the the day with tna uh mm-hmm. you know you 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 went because you saw those people there you saw oh hey look who's back hey look the rock's there hey look who, this guy's there but then you get to experience these other guys and they have the opportunity uh the cm punks and the you know even though they're not an as pro- high profile match even though it is a title match or That's fine. or if Dolph Ziggler has a killer match with like say a Rey Mysterio somewhere else in the card that makes him look good or anybody in that money in the bank match now all those new not- people know who a Kofi Kingston is because they tune in because they wanted to see the rock I, well, that's true, but I don't. I I get the high profile. I don't. I'm not saying that Dolph or Cody needs to be in like a high profile match. That's fine. I I don't see why they with this whole build to Rock and Cena. If they're worried about people buying the pay per view, I don't see why they need Undertaker Triple H. They don't. They don't. If, if they, they, if they have so Rock and Cena, if the rumors are true and they're going to do some celebrity thing with Shaquille O'Neal or LeBron James or whatever, they're or gonna I do, heard about Shawn Michaels being uh being guest referee for that match. Possibly, yeah. So, but it's. And then maybe that would make it a bit interesting, yeah. But I mean, I'm, I, I don't want. And what AJ and AJ I know is on the show, but what he proposed last night in the hangout is it's going to be a Money in the Bank match. I'm sorry, I don't want you guys to just be like, oh, we have nothing for you. Let's throw you in a Money in the Bank match. It's going to be a great match if they have it, and it's going to steal. And it's going to be you know one of the best matches on the card if they have a Money in the Bank. But I'm sorry, it's a cheap way to put people together. What would you like? What I'd like to see Dolph Ziggler maybe I don't put you know what don't do um, what is it Big Show and Shaquille or Neil or they're gonna do Big Show and LeBron or something like that Dolph Ziggler and LeBron give him that match give him give him something that's gonna you know uh, you give, know I, give right, him so, some attention so you 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 don't want Dolph Ziggler to have. Uh, a thing at, at WrestleMania that where he can exhibit his wrestling talents. You want him to have the the celebrity thing where yeah, because he, he has Snooki last year gets ran over by LeBron. He has Snooki last year. Yeah. So what's he? Either, so he you're cool with that? John Morrison then went out of the ring and let Snooki do her thing with the divas. So and that's fine. And I, maybe and like you said, give Dolph Rey Mysterio or something like that too. And if they do that, then that's fine. But like, I don't want to see a Money in the Bank match when they just throw everyone together because they have nothing for them. I don't want Ray. I I don't <laughs> mind Ray. I do not. I'm mind beyond Ray. tired of Ray Mysterio. That motherfucker oh, should have retired. Ray's, Ray's been gone for like nine months. Okay, yeah. he's really. Ray's been gone for like years. nine years. So he's. I think he's very talented. He's not what he he's used done. to be, obviously. But I mean, he can still pull a good. He can still pull a good match out of people. Any or can other people? Uh, pull yes. Good match out of him? CM Punk. Uh, well, his matches with CM Punk, his matches with Dolph Ziggler, Cody Rhodes. And I see nothing wrong with the ma- the money in the back. Very bank talented match. guys that are working with an old, broken down man. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm tired. I and this is just my opinion. It's always been a great match, and I appreciate the Money in the Bank ladder match for the match. I'm tired of it. It's just an. Ex- it's just a somehow excuse. If if Daniel Bryan did not make money in the money in the bank this year, do you think he, there is any shot in the world that they would have made him world champion? No, but that's the point no. of that. That's the point of that. It, that's it, the point. It, it's another thing that gives like a chance to rise up, like the Royal Rumble does. Uh, the, the Money in Bank concept is like the Royal Rumble in that in that aspect. Uh, Matt Carlin's in the chat room says somebody named an undercard WrestleMania match since the Triangle Ladder match in two thousand that dramatically elevated new talent. I would say money in the bank. Money in the bank. Money, money in the bank. And uh, if I think two thousand, there was that three way with uh, Angle, Jericho, Benoit. Okay. Three guys that didn't Benoit. that were only there for a little while and sort of you know and gave them for, their chance to shine for an IC. Who's this Benoit again? <laughs> who's that? Who, yeah, who's that guy? I, and, I, and I never Mc heard Cole of that Lee, guy. Thank you. Speaking of which, can I just throw out there for this is just completely non sequitur. We can get back to WrestleMania, but for some reason, I've had Chris Benoit's music stuck in my head lately. The the um, uh, Our Lady Peace version. 
Yeah, it's a fucking good song. Too. It is a good song. It it is a good back song. To but we can't listen to it because apparently that's wrong or something. <laughs> what? Edge, Edge and saying. McFoley. Chris Benoit yeah. MVP. Edge and McFoley did one. very well. Okay, yeah. he, and he says, uh, Matt, Matt responds, uh, I'll give you Edge winning money in the bank, not the Foley match. He was already a main eventer. Uh, true. He, true, won, he true. won one world title. Um, at the time. And mm. Ziggler, and they say Ziggler's technically a world champion, but that's the thing. He's technically a world champion, even though he only held it for a minute. Yeah, and that's fine. I mean, that, and it, 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 it's just like anytime any of these guys get a Money in the Bank match, it's usually a short run or a really odd run. Like CM Punk's first one was weird. Edge's first one was short. Uh, Daniel, CM Bu- Punk, CM I, I gotta tell you though, weird, Daniel Bryan, it, Daniel Bryan is the most consistently good first Money in the Bank, other than the Miz. I guess the Miz would be the other one, didn't he? Yeah, I would say the, 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 the CM Punk one wasn't weird until he won it the second time. Okay. Because when they went it the second time, they're like, "Okay, so can he not just win a match on win the title on his own?" Yeah, you know, what I mean? yeah, yeah. That's why it was like this this questionable thing where, like, you know, even like when they gave Ray Mysterio the belt, they kept beating his ass every week. Yeah, you know, it was just like a, it, you know they didn't let him be a champion at least in in, in match wise. Uh, and, and CM Punk was like just became super questionable. Daniel Bryan, I think, made that like work. I think he's. I, I'll agree. Daniel Bryan really has made it work and has made, you know, something out of you know the opportunity they gave him. Mm-hmm. Um, I just. I and I. I'm, if they're gonna have a Money in the Bank match, I'm gonna love the match and it's gonna be a g- very innovative and very great match because I love the match. Yeah. I. I really hope and I hope it's something that elevates someone, just not this magic Wonka ticket that someone holds. Long Isn't that what it ticket. is, though? <laughs> Isn't that what it is? Is the fucking golden ticket, that, though? That's pretty much it. That's what it is. That's, that's the concept. Been 100% that's it's been the golden ticket, ticket on a ladder that. match, man. Some be, it that's what Miz it is. From, it took Miz from a you know mid card sort of wrestler to a heavyweight Guy. spot. Yes, yes, the yes. Miz is Charlie. And then look uh, at Jack Big Swagger. show, Big Show is Augustus Gloop. Um, hey, Jack Swagger. And, Jack Swagger has nobody to blame but himself. Really. Because they, yeah. yeah. they gave him, they gave him the world title, and then they put him in matches with Big Show, and then gave, and got rid of it. Yeah, and just made him back being a mid carder. I think mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't, I don't think I don't think he was a hey, horrible runner. He got or a chance. Yeah, he got it. He had it for a full he like, had three a chance months with the title. Exactly. That's not what we can say for. Oh, I don't know, Kennedy. Yeah, well, Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. Kennedy's yeah. a whole nother story. Fake an injury, or there's. Rumor has it that he faked an injury to get off WWE, hence him losing that. Did, was, was that the case? I thought it was because he was injuring everyone. No, well, that, he was, that's why they let him go last, I heard. So, uh, I mean, that, that's all speculation, you know. I don't know. I, I, I'll like WrestleMania. I'll watch WrestleMania. I just don't want to see Taker and Triple H roll around in the ring. That's okay. I'm sorry. Go that's the same dump. reason why I don't want to see Go take CNA your own dump. Go, that's fine. Go take your own Taker dump, and the rest of us will be watching it not at BW3. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Hooters makes you happy. BW3. Apparently, Hooters is the place to be for this this year. Yeah. Or Fox and Hound. Fox and Hound. Or Fox and Hound. I don't know. Seriously. I wonder, I wonder seriously. If, if, oh, if, should, I wonder if they're killing there it. There is too. a place. We, we should actually call ahead and make sure they're still carrying it. Yeah. BW3 is cutting it. Because I'm sorry. Uh, none of those places had nearly as many people as that B- BW3 had. Oh, no. Not near. Yeah. So There's a place on the north side called the Tilted Kilt. It's like, it's like Hooters on steroids. We should see if they... Maybe there's I, one I doubt coming it. up here. I doubt it. I, w- I wonder if Twin Peaks has it. Uh, Maybe. Was that supposed to be a joke? I'd, I'd go to a Twin Peaks, but no. I, I, well, okay, I, I, I understand. I understand. New York City doesn't even ha- carry paper. I don't understand what happened with these blast areas. Cause they used to have them everywhere. Yeah, and, and I they, love how WWE is just like, uh, yeah, you can't watch our pay per views on streams, and oh, by the way, you can't watch them in uh, restaurants where you pay can your month. Can, can I throw out another one? Can I throw out somebody else that's pissed me off? I'm trying really hard not to pirate things that I don't have to. Um, <laughs> No, what no, really seriously. grinds your gears? This is what grinds my gears. And obviously, Monday Night Raw, I you know, I say I stream it, but I, I watch everybody's commercials. So I mean, I figure that works out in the end, right? But yeah, you know, I don't Ricky's going to hear you and yell at you again. I know, I know. But um, and I'm trying to go to BW3 so I can watch the pay per views or something and do that legitimately too. But 
tell me, let me tell you something about TNA Impact. I'm really trying to watch this, guys. Uh, but when I go to Spike TV's website and their player breaks, or as it happened this week, I watched the first segment, and then after the first segment, it's last week's episode! <laughs> Spike TV, fix your fucking shit! It's fucked up. It's, it's bullshit. It's, it's bullshit. It's, but it's I know where really, I can get it. I know where I can go on Daily Motion, and it's fucking reliable. And honestly, WWE, that's just gonna fuck you over in the end. Exactly. Because I, now you're not. Now no, nobody's paying you money at the Buffalo Wild Wings or whatever to pay for your pay per views. Oh, so you're gonna. Oh, we're gonna make everyone buy our pay. Our, the sixty bucks for every pay per view. They're not gonna buy the fucking pay per views. No. No. Okay. You're the one gonna be losing money in the end. I mean, I understand the point that you got a room full of people and you're only getting 200 bucks for that, but it's, I don't know, it, it, maybe that's it. They're trying to drive people in, so maybe more of them buy the pay-per-view. But at least I don't you know got what 200 is. bucks. How many, Buffalo, how many Buffalo Water Wings are there in you know the United States? Not all of them carry it, even. None of them mm-hmm. around here carry it. The that, one down my hill does not carry the yeah. flash. Oh, really? That was the only one in the area that carried it. Yeah. Huh. Well, my point, I just, don't, I just, don't, I just feel like they're fucking themselves over here. You know, like oh, we're not fucking gonna... everybody over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, I'm sorry if you're gonna fo- if you're gonna crack down on streams and then you're not gonna show them in bars why and places it... like that. Uh, what, what people will find ways to watch your pay per view instead of paying exactly. sixty dollars. Exactly, for it. It, it, this is the lesson that all the other industries have learned. If you don't make it easy for people and you keep raping them like this, they're gonna find other ways to do it. And there's plenty of people out there that are gonna facilitate this. Now, why doesn't WWE do something interesting like when they first started doing these things before there was a pay per view cable system? Um, Movie theaters? Yeah, the Bound for Glory was in movie theaters. First WrestleMania. Fifteen dollars. Second one. Fifteen dollars a pop to go watch that in a movie theater with a room full of wrestle fan, wrestling fans. I do fans. that. Oh, yeah, I room do full that. of wrestle fans. I do it. Roof, I drop room it. Full <laughs> room full of wrestle fans. Room full of wrestle fans bitching about the Undertaker match. Um, <sighs> I, <know. laughs> I might take my life. On <laughs> but no, seriously, I would drop fifteen <laughs> bucks for that. Take his life. Go up to the Cinemark where they had the had the Bound for Glory. It's a nice theater. I would go see it. I'd do it. I definitely would. So. <laughs> Um, and yes, and yeah, uh, Hooters. I know towards the end when we before we stopped going uh, down when they used to be down in uh, uh, Station Square here in Pittsburgh, uh, they started charging the cover. But notice then they stopped carrying pay per views because nobody started going anymore. Uh, Fox and Hound started carrying a cover uh, about a year ago. Um, so I mean, you know, at that point, you know, I feel kind of stiff because hey, I'm bringing business in. You know, but still, and then versus, I went to a Fox and Hound in Philadelphia when we went out there for King of Trios, whatever pay per view was there that night. I want to say it was Money in the Bank or Great American Bash or something. And there was barely anybody in that bar. There was maybe 20 people in that bar, and there was no cover charge, and they had to pay per view. You know? I mean, that's, it's just, I don't know. It's fucked up. But no, 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 the fox and hound out there was not not cover, not uh, doing a cover. Yeah. So, uh, but here's the here's another thing though. They're Buffalo Wild Wings doing this. Mm-hmm. They're they're gonna lose some business. Yeah. With this happening. Yeah. And they don't give a shit. Well, the thing is, it's a chain wide thing. Maybe not. Yeah. Like, much like the Fox and Hound Philadelphia didn't have anybody for the pay per view, but they fill a room out at the one here in McKnight Road. And maybe it's bigger. I haven't been there for a while. Um, but that bu- that BW3s was packed with people standing room mm-hmm. only watching that pay per view. Is that the same way at all the other BW3s where they do carry it? That's the other consideration because this is a chain wide uh, consideration. Well, when are they gonna? Are they gonna do it immediate, immediately, or are they gonna wait till? Oh, I don't know. WrestleMania to be over. I don't know. Everything I've seen has been like secondhand uh, dirt sheet reporting, so I've I've seen no sources on this. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's, let me, it's, you know, let me ask see how it's is Buffalo Wild Wings. If Buffalo Wild Wings is gonna stop carrying these pay per views because WWE is charging seven hundred dollars to run the thing, what are they gonna do when WWE Network? Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe so. If they have that as part of their package, like they always have the NFL Sunday ticket and everything, what does that do at that point? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. But then again, that's getting delayed, so we'll have a little longer to figure that out. Something's planned. Whoa! Somebody has some ads on it's, their it's, site. It's kind of magical. Jeez. 
So, so there's a there's a report going around that um, for those that don't know, um, there's a, a thing called uh, After Buzz TV where they do post shows for Raw that was hosted by Lillian Garcia. Um, as well as, I believe, Maria was also a part of that for a little while. Um, it was mentioned by someone on the show, um, I guess an insider, that Evan Bourne has checked into rehab um, following oh, his uh, second suspension. I think from, he has uh, to. I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's to. required to. So I, I, might, I hope he turns it around. I mean, you know, I think... He is uh, he. No, no matter what you say about how you know shitty of choices he made in the past couple of months, he's of great talent, um, and I severely hope they keep him. You know, because I I it, I don't want to see you know somebody you know fall fall down from you know the best opportunity they've gotten like this. You know, mm-hmm. as much as as much as people have made fun of him born in the past. Yeah, it is, it's a shame. It's a shame with him. It is, but he made his own. He made his own bed, really. Yeah, yeah. He, oh, and Russell fan, did you make your bed? Yes, I did actually. <laughs> okay, the, that, I just wanted to double check. But he made is his that, own is that bed. You mentioned that when he it's just so you can segue. Yes, when he when he did that, the second time, right after he came back from suspension. Yeah, is that. It- he needs to go get some help because he got a problem at that point. I'm sorry. Yeah, he, I don't. I don't. He's turning into Jeff Hardy. I, I wouldn't go. And that that's far. okay. That's all. Because that, this that's is only rough. this is only meta, or this is only the fake marijuana or whatever. Jeff Hardy's been into some hard shit. Okay. I don't think. I don't think it's just fake marijuana. You don't go to rehab for fake pot. Yeah. No. Yeah. And I, I haven't seen it. Well, Lady right. Lunchbox did apparently, which I didn't know, and we're gonna have to have a talk. <laughs> we're gonna talk about it. <laughs> um, other than that, hey, uh, there was because we were speculating. It's like, wait, did she have the kid Karma showing up at uh, Royal Rumble this week? Um, she did. She had her kid January thirty first, and let me congratulations, see. Lunchbox. <laughs> wait, congratulations. no, she had her. Thank lunch. you. She had her, she had her kid you. today. Uh, January no, it's December thirty first. There we go. What if? What if? Uh, you know, uh, and I'm trying to find. I did see somewhere the uh, the wedding ring because apparently now she's engaged and is going to be. I have we talked about this before. Did we talk about the ring? Yeah, yeah we, we definitely yeah, the, ring. the inception ring. The inception That's ring. Like, the wrestling ring. 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 Yeah, apparently she will be married sometime around June. So. Yep. yep. So there. So you again. Go. Congratulations! Yeah, congratulations, Papa Lunchbox. There you go. Yes, I, I, I do appreciate it. We named we named the child Jamie after the MythBuster. That's correct. <laughs> uh, he's <laughs> very important to us. He also he will be officiating the ceremony with his beret. <laughs> Wait, so you named him after Jamie Heineman and not Juggalo Jamie? Well, I secretly it's Juggalo Jamie, but ah, <laughs> uh, okay, I got you. Not a fan. You know about it. Oh man! Are you whisper- so a- I, 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 no, no whisper. She, so Royal Rumble was this weekend. Yeah, we talked about it, a bit, but it, it, there was. I saw there was some good surprises. I'm sorry, I like the kooky shit in the Royal Rumble. Yeah, I like having a bit of fun. I still think my mayhemship poll was rigged. No, it no, was it wasn't. Rigged. I'm standing by. It. Not rigged. No, no, let's explain no what way. we did. We mentioned no this poll. Way. We mentioned I this had, poll several uh, times. Uh, can somebody break down exactly what the poll was? <clears throat> The poll was AJ brought it up in in the on Twitter uh, a couple days ago, and it was that we get thirty. There's thirty blocks for thirty wrestlers, and we each get three picks, three random spots, and rest for that's for fifteen dollars, and all proceeds go to Chachi Plays, ChachiPlays.com, ChachiPlays.com. And apparently, some of us got better picks than others, so, which uh, made be- better. Which better made, is a good which, word. Because how the fuck did I get first? Jinder Mahal, who, by the way, I don't care if he's trending on Twitter every week. Fuck Jinder Mahal. I don't give a shit. Bring back Muhammad Hassan. Um, the next is Michael That's Cole. Racist. Which I went, I guess, the minute Booker T, the, they did the thing with the announcers, Jerry Lawler went in, and then Booker T went in, and the minute I said that, I went to Twitter and said, if Michael Cole is one of my two picks in the Royal Rumble pool, then 
bad stuff is going to happen. Then Michael Cole became my uh, number 20, not the pick. And then it came down, you know, you had Karma come out, you had Sheamus come out, and I'm like, okay, this is getting good. You know, maybe I'll have someone good. Maybe, you know, a Chris Jericho or, you know, a Kane or someone like that. Who did I get? No, Karma, by Who the way, that's one of my picks. Road dog! The fucking road dog! How the... You know what? I'm not... And you know what? I'm not mad at the under... Why aren't you happy with the road dog? I had Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Oh, oh, don't you talk bad about Hacksaw. Don't you dare compare Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And Jericho and Primo. I had Justin Gabriel, sir. Justin Gabriel's a shit. I don't care what you say. But listen... Santino. I'm just saying my first pick was Santino. I would say it made everything made sense. Mick Foley being in there made sense. Hacksaw J- Jim Duggan made sense because he was the first ever winner of the Royal Rumble. <laughs> Mad Mike but says, "Fuck announced, you." Mad Mike, was Mad fun- Mike says, "Fuck you." I had Rodrigo uh, Ricardo Rodriguez. <laughs> Rodrigo that was Rodriguez. Okay. And that was no, glorious. Listen, listen. The, the announce team was fine. It was kind of funny. Why would someone, someone tell me why the Road Dog was there? Because he's a talent. Because you didn't expect Nostalgia, it. and he was awesome. Because I didn't was. expect he it, because out of all the people you could have bring in, you brought in the fucking road dog. Out of everyone. Who, who, in- who would you brought in? Godfather. Yeah. What? Uh, Gangrel. What? Godfather. Uh, I'll, they, I'll give they, you a list of wrestlers before. from the Attitude Era that I would have brought in rather than the Spend fucking road dog. They have the Godfather, though. His name is yeah, Bruce Spend Clay. Time. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of double enough. Yeah, well, yeah. Where was Rodis Clay? Where was Rodis Clay in that match? He was too busy. Rodis Clay is he destroying a Scotsman? <laughs> <laughs> Aldo Montoya. I would have rather had Aldo Montoya in that match. In the fuck you don't know who Aldo Montoya, Montoya is. is. No, I know. Know. Just incredible. He's he needs the money. He's at Olive Garden. I don't know who Just Incredible is. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously. <laughs> And Listen, I, I, feel, fan, I really do feel fan. like there's the only reason they had Road Dog in there was because there were stories going around how Billy Gunn and X Pac were having a Royal Rumble party or something. I feel like that's the only reason they put in the Road Dog. And the, Why do you the, think no, they, they had the Road They put in the Road Dog because he's been a road agent for them for at least a year now, and he was so, backstage, and people fucking loved the Attitude Era. Then why, so they then why did, isn't Demon going there? there. What the the fuck is in? Uh, who else is a road agent? Arn well, Anderson. I'm not this up. Well, most I don't know, of them have. Most of them have career broke down, and crippled the wrestle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, so we're just gonna settle with Jesse James then. That's not settling. That, that, not people, settling. people went nuts you over this guy. With the road dog. Just like last, where last year when everybody went nuts over Diesel coming out. Oh, Diesel and Booker well, T. Different. different. Come on, he's different. No, Come he's on, not. I'd rather Diesel see this guy wrestle than Kevin Nash. <sighs> He was Road absolutely Dog fantastic. Had- and you know what? You're you're just wrestling fan. You're ignoring the main point of the fact that I won the Rumble for <laughs> And I can you could have had any of the you could have any of the numbers and still had luck. You could have had like that's one fine. Zero, I that's was fine. Funny. I don't. I know. That's fine. I just you know, didn't want to say wrestle fan Road got Dog one for no point fucking all those reason. Wrestlers. Hey, hey, hey! Snap out of it. <laughs> All right, now, enough, enough fighting about the poll. Uh, what else is going on here? Michael well? Hayes. Like Michael, Michael is- P.S. Hayes could have been in there and said the fucking no. road dog. You would no, rather no, see no. Michael P.S. fuck Hayes than yes. the road dog? Yes. Are you out of your fucking mind? Now you're what just about saying Billy stuff Kidman? to I say stuff. I don't want Doc Hendricks in my, res- in my Royal Rumble. Billy Kidman. Where was Billy Kidman? He's, he's apparently the director or whatever. Fan's gone off the deep end. He's fired. There you go. Also, fuck Billy Kid. Yeah, Billy Kidman. <laughs> seriously, I think he was a road agent for a good bit too. So, uh, yeah. Is he still talking? Yeah, he might be. Is he? Hold on, let's check on him. <laughs> oh, hello. Billy Kidman's the master of the shooting star press. No, 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 no. Not worth bringing back. All right. In other news in the wrestling world, was there any other news in the wrestling world this week? No, it was a Royal Rumble. TNA did something. TNA had a show. That's fine. Oh, Uh, did they have a Royal Rumble? Well, I think it's funny because we had a conversation about divas at the end of the Rumble. Uh, 
at the BW3 while we're waiting for our checks. And remember half the people that we mentioned that were awesome in the Divas division, like back in the day? Hey, they're in TNA, and they had a pretty all right uh, three, triple threat match uh, with Velvet Sky, uh, Mickey James, and Tara. So. Uh, yeah, I just thought that was interesting when I was watching that today. You know, when Spike TV's website wouldn't fucking work, so I can see the rest of the mm-hmm. match. Um, Tully Blanchard, there you go, Tully Blanchard. Yeah, people will know who that is um, in this day of age, you know. But uh, anyways, that guy doesn't. But no, TNA. Um, no, T- TNA has a pay per view coming up, and I can't tell you what they're doing with it. No. I mean, I, you know, I gotta say, though, know, I enjoy doing, I enjoy Impact doing. just for sitting down and, and enjoying Impact. I don't sit there and analyze it anymore. I just sit there, and I've been like this for a while. It's just like, ah, let's see what's happening. You know, I, I'm not looking for a Ring of Honor show, but actually, there's some actually good wrestling there. It's something different going on there. So, you know, whatever you think about that, I, I don't think it's going to get big numbers in this country, but they're doing great in India, it sounds like. so. Okay, Bobby got it. What's that? I would rather have seen Glacier. Glacier? I'm sorry. Glacier. Yeah, Glacier. Yeah, I'll give you that. Glacier. I, I, would give, I would give you Glacier. You're not going to get anybody from WCW like that. You're just not. Unless it was Shockmaster. They, 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 had a, they, had a, they had a Where Was Glacier thing on WWE.com. Yeah, but you're not going to put that in the pay-per-view. I mean, that's that's for the website well, where all the marks are reading that shit that, that are all like, I remember Glacier. Where the fuck yeah. is Glacier? And you're going to get that shit on, like, you know, uh, twenty four seven maybe, but uh, you're not getting it here. You're not getting yeah. on. I, in, you're not getting I, on one I, of the top three shows of the year like that. Are you about to yell again, Russell fan? No, I'm not. I'm not going to yell. I'm saying I'm actually going to say good things about TNA. I, I TNA. I honestly TNA is fine with me because really, right? At least the past couple of weeks on Impact, they're kind of like booking by num- like by the numbers, like basic sort of booking techniques, and I'm fine with that. Yeah, that, yeah. that means they don't do stupid shit. <laughs> What, you, yeah. like like the cross gender tag matches with ODB and Eric Young? Those, those are hilarious. Who was telling me? Who was who was saying before that they need like more Eric Youngs? They do more. That was Sonic Screwjob. Sonic Screwjob. Yeah, Young's yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah, more 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 Eric Youngs. Like simple simple booking. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And I think they're doing a great job with it. I'm not going to buy a pay per view, but I don't mind watching the program, and I might go see the show when they come to town again. You know, yeah. it, it is what it is, and I enjoy that for what it is. I mean, it's not yeah, the Shima, be- Shima Zion's getting spots. Shima's uh, getting spots. Shima's, go, and Shima's stuff, going to so India it's for good, stuff. It's, it's great. It's great. The, yeah, the Shelly uh, uh, the Zima Ion match was really good this week, um, and you know, we, we're we're still getting like pretty vicious table matches and all that junk there. So you know, it, it, it's stuff that people aren't getting. This is what and, they should be doing. Who, who was it? Was it Screw Job that said this might be the best I've seen personally of Bubba, Bully, Ray, Bully Ray's great. Dudley. I've he's been big on him for a while. doing an awesome job. I've been big on him for heel. a while. It is the best thing he's done in the singles uh, uh, ever. He's, he's, and he's, he's stuttered. Tremendous. He's tremendous right now. Yeah. yeah TNA, he's doing better TNA, than Devon. You're on my good side. <laughs> yep, exactly. So, um, yep. 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 Uh, what, what else is going yeah. on, guys? ChachiPlace.com. ChachiPlace.com. That is a thing. And MonsterHaiku.com. That's or true. We're, or, uh, that's gonna, I'm planning on ramping that up next week after ChachiPlace.com is over. I don't want to saturate the market with charity interests. It's not work, right? But you do have a launch party tomorrow. There is a launch party tomorrow. But still, I will say that because um, I won't be here until next week. Um, the, the store opens tomorrow, uh, tomorrow being February 1st. So if you're listening to this after that, uh, go to monsterhaiku.org. That's it right there. And, uh, uh, purchase a book. Uh, all proceeds go to the, um, March of Dimes and, uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. My first book. He's an author and shit. Yeah. It's very exciting. Mm -hmm. Although I, uh, I, I honestly, I, um, I, I mean, I'll get into this. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to talk about the book. Uh, I'm going to say, listen to the awesome cast next week, where I will talk about the book. Exactly. Whoa, and, uh, cross promotion. There you go. There you go. Oh, the yeah, man. right here on the Sorgatron Media Network. There you go. And, uh, of course, um, an evening with PodCamp you guys are going to be doing in the near future. So keep an eye on PodCampPittsburgh.com for everything going on there. Of course, ChachiPlays.com. 
Uh, that's next Friday and Saturday, the 10th and 11th. We'll be streaming live here on Songatron Media. Uh, that event, the entire 24 hours. And see if Trachi dies. So, um, other than that, who wants to do the outro? Outro? What outro? Is. Make it hot. So, wrestle fan. Yes, Riz. What did you learn from wrestling this week? I learned from wrestling this week when WWE and comes up with a great idea, like a WWE network. They're like, uh, and they're, and then things go bad. They're like, uh, let's try to be all you know, internet savvy again. Instead of a WWE network, we're going to YouTube. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. So yeah, yeah, like uh, they already had one. DJ Lunchbox. Yes, sir. What did you What did you learn from wrestling this week? A baby has come back to me. Karma has returned for the Royal Rumble. Um, and then she'll heal more uh, after the thing. Oh, I also learned, learned that I am the Royal Rumble Oracle. Yeah, his baby back, baby back, baby back. Sword. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Try not to die and tell me what you learned from wrestling this week. I learned I learned that even though he was put in a cage this week, Chachi uh, was put in a cage at uh, the event Saturday or Friday night, uh, that's not what got him hurt. It's a mystery, but he was the first one to bleed. Ooh. Chachi is the first one to bleed at an event with a cage. So. Hmm. Black Box, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, there's no, there's nobody here. There's no, this is empty. This is empty right now. Hold on, hold on, I got one. What? Uh, hey, Lady Lunchbox. Lady Lunchbox, what, what did you, you learn from wrestling this week? What did you learn from wrestling this week? <sighs> she Jack, that what did you learn from wrestling this week? Seamus needs to get a tan. <laughs> I think he just burned. Uh, hey, yeah. from the chat room, though, uh, Bobby F. J. Town learned that when Chris Jericho said your world is about to end, he was actually willing Glacier to come back from the crypt in Mortal Kombat. Also, screw Buffalo Wild Wings. Their food makes you poop. Mad Mike learned that <laughs> finally the white man... In all defense, wait, wait, wait. No, let's talk about that. Doesn't all food make you poop? Mm. Not, uh, like, not like Buffalo Wild Wings. Mad Mike not, learned not, no, that finally the white man can win the big one. Matt learned that uh, when Jericho said your world is about to end, it meant BW3. Uh, everybody poops. From Mad Mike. <laughs> everybody poops. And Jolo John learned that Dana White wants to hit nerds not wrestling, but close. Uh, yeah, and, and there was a <clears throat> comment earlier that apparently when I was trying to watch Spike T... Uh, or I was trying to... Uh, Blah. Well, I was trying to watch uh, TNA on Spike TV's website. Uh, Dana White was punching it. That's why I was having a problem. <laughs> so, there you go. <clears throat> wow. Uh, so, on <clears throat> that go, guys. <clears throat> Riz, Riz, what tell Riz? Me wrestling this week? I learned, thank you guys, that uh, screaming in public, <laughs> I believe in you, Justin, isn't really a good thing to do. What? What? <laughs> yeah. Or uh, what did I scream out? Because I had Justin Gabriel in the Royal Rumble pool, and I was really into it. No, I think that's accurate. I think yeah. that's accurate. I believe in you, Justin. Yes. And, and you know, I, I do wonder what people, if, if people, because we were right under the big screen, so everybody was looking in our direction. <laughs> I just do wonder, because, I mean, a lot of us were more excited for some of the entrants than we should have been. Oh, uh, yeah. Since we had the poll. Uh, I wonder I wonder what that looked like from the outside. Well, so. there was one guy. I'm pretty sure I, I want to bring him up here. <laughs> but he's all the way in the back. Like He was in the middle of the uh, room. Uh-huh. Just passed out. What? <laughs> he was really. Yeah, I was looking right at him the whole time. His Wait, was, was that down. the guy sitting at the table by himself? Yes. What? <laughs> yes, the guy was sitting by himself. Sometimes some guy came up and sat next to him. Then he, then they left. But he was just sitting there, fast like passed out. I don't know if he's drunk or stoned. Or both or all. <laughs> wow. 
Amazing. So, hey, guys, on that note, let's, uh, you know, hey, check us out, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Follow us on Twitter, <laughs> at Mayhem Show, with any comments about us. And uh, hit up the, web, the email address at Good at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Uh, you can hit us up on our Facebook, the open group on Facebook. Or just, just search for Wrestling Mayhem Show. You'll find them both. Uh, you can also follow us on Google Plus, where we do Google Hangouts every Monday night. And uh, what else is going on? Buy the app. Look at that beautiful thing. Look at that. Buy the app. Look at that beautiful thing. Follow us on footage. YouTube. Comment on us on the iTunes. And no, and I'm not showing you my tell, penis audio views, viewers. Tell listeners. your friends. Tell your Which friends. Which should be. And, it uh, should be. And go check out the DVDs uh, we're providing over at SorgatronMedia.com slash store. Some of the best in the local indie wrestling here in the Pittsburgh area. Now provided by Sorgatron Media. There you go. Uh, so thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys. I'm going to go bathe myself in some Vicks, and we'll see you guys next week. Mayhem. Sexy. Out.